everybody. Welcome to my day. I'm Danny, and this is Miles. We want to show you some of his equipment. So, um, Miles cannot stand up on his own. He cannot sit up on his own. He really, it's he's completely dependent upon us. And so, he does a lot of sitting in his wheelchair or sitting in chairs or laying on the floor. And I remembered a couple, um, one of our therapists a while ago had said about how important standing is and how important it is for your body to regulate all so many different things so I googled it because I wanted to to know all medically what really benefits his body from standing so I found out that it helps bone de density bone density maintenance the bones stay strong through constant weight-bearing activity like standing he's not getting that um, it helps muscle strength and posture it improves bladder and bowel function because gravity plays a huge role in how the body eliminates waste. So, it's part of the problem. He has to get enemas because um, his we thought it because his abs are not strong enough, and because he doesn't have that gravity pulling him, helping him with his waste elimination. Uh, you okay, man? I'm falling over. I think we need to adjust this again. Um, also, bladder and kidney function also benefit from gravity, and heart and lung health are also helped by standing. So I want to show you the standard we got a couple years ago. This one here. Pull it over here for you. You might be able to hear my children screaming in the basement. They're playing. So this one is a sit to stand. So I can put him in, in a, from a seated position, which is really helpful. Or you can sit him down to like take a break or anything like that. So here's his knees. So I would sit it down and then I would open this up and open the knees up and then I would sit him in it and then um, I'd have to hold him up so it's kind of hard sometimes to do it that way as well but you put his chest strap on and his seat belt on and make sure it's in between all these different things here and then you can put the tray back on. We had to get these add-on pieces here because his elbows would get stuck down in there and he would get all bruised up. He would fall over. His upper body would just kind of tilt back and forth like he's doing kind of now in his other standing. But then we put up the knee pads and strap his feet too. Wait guys, I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Can you go back down? Why? Because you're loud. What we Okay. And then I will stand him up. Hey, bye, honey. Like this. They're gonna be able to see you. Oh. That's so when he's standing. And then I could do it into a supine position if I want to lay him back. So I adjust this knob over here. There's lots of knobs and screws, and screws fall out, and I don't know what they're doing. And then I can tilt him back. Like this. Okay, they're done walking back and forth through the video. So this one we just got, and this is called the Gazelle. Um, so in the special needs world, I have found personally that a lot of people will pass on their equipment or different materials and stuff once their kids have outgrown them. In this situation, unfortunately, it's sad that um, some of our friends um, or our friend passed away and through his um, service that we went to, we met another family that their son had passed away and so they have graciously passed on all of a lot of their stuff to us and so we are super blessed to not have to go through the process of trying to go through insurance and stuff to get things and that they have passed on to us. So anyways, this, um, I think I need to adjust it and take out another, another pad here, but um, this one, he has his, his front side against the padding and the other one, his back is against it and he's strapped in. But this one I like better because it has this great big tray on it. Um, 
the other one, things would fall off his tray. He would knock them off because he doesn't have full control of his hands. Let me unlock this wheel. Somebody unlocked it. We're stuck on the carpet. Okay, so this tray has a nice, nice lip around the top that can hold things on. See, this is too high. He can't get his arm over it. So I think we need to take out one more section here and hopefully he'll fit better then. We're gonna do some adjustments. This is only the second time I've had him in it. The first time we saw that it was completely too uh, big for him. But this top tray comes off. And there's a bucket in here that we can put sensory items or toys or different things in there for him to play with. Snow or sand or water beads, something cool like that. <laughs> and there's there's straps here that hold him in his uh, his knees, there's support. And then all these straps here and this holds his bottom in place and then his feet. So this one I can tilt up up and down. It's a little tricky though I'm finding because because of his weight, it kind of tilts really fast. So we're going to have to adjust this one and find out the best place for him on that one before I pass on our old one to someone smaller. What do you think, Miles? Do you like this one better? I know, you keep looking at the TV because you want to watch TV. But right now it's off. Okay. Let me help this little guy. Well, thanks for watching. This is our standards that we have. And... Any questions, feel free to ask. You were made on purpose, you're important, and God really has a plan for your life. So keep seeking it out, uh, keep sharing your smiles with others, and thanks for watching. <laughs>